Yes. Don't be ashamed. ashamed. It's no crime right. to be a virgin. That's right. You talk to a lot of women. There's a lot of women on the planet today. What they got, they still was a virgin. That's true. They regret letting that man touch them. Yeah. A whole lot of women walking. They regret it. That's if they can turn back the clock, then nobody will touch them. Yeah. Don't let no fella tell you if you love me, you will give it up. Yeah. Right. He's making a sucker out of you. That's right. Let me just make it plain. Love and sex are two different things. Amen. L O V E. Amen. Legs open. Very easy. Amen. Why you in the world you think these fellas are so quick to tell you? Quick. I love you. Love got different meanings to people. That's right. That young fella tell you quick, I love you. What he's really pleading for, legs open very easy. That's what he wants. That's right. And because you don't know what he's talking, you think he's talking about the emotions of his heart. No, he's talking about the lust that is in him. That's it. If sex is love, then whores are the most loving women out here. That's and right. so are pimps. That's right. You better give chapter and verse. Uh, the moment we in the red, all you heard was, ooh. <laughs> Because a lot of folks don't know what I'm talking is in the Bible. That's right. And yet they say he's vulgar. No, I'm a truth teller. That's right. And I'm trying to save your daughters and your son's lives. That's right. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Yeah, me good. First Kings chapter one, we'll start at verse one. Follow me. Now King David was old and stricken in years. Yes. And they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. He didn't get no heat because of his old age. Wherefore his servant said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin. Ha. Amen. A king, you up in age, your body temperature is low. <laughs> Let's look for him. What kind? A young virgin. He didn't say let's just get a young woman. No. Mm -mm. You young ain't going to get no young, experienced woman laying up there with old King David. No way. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's right. I said old King David. <laughs> Amen. Now, I want to show you this now. Amen. Hear me good. Let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin, and let her stand before the king and let her cherish Let her him. stand before the king and let her take care of him. And let her lie in thy bosom that my lord the king may get heat. Lie in thy bosom. In his bosom. That my lord the king may get heat. Keep him warm. That's right. That's for then. For then. Hear me, hear That's me, right. hear me, God. That's right. That's for back then. That was for back then. Now the Bible says to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. His own wife. I want to say, but Pastor Dennis, what am I supposed to do if I'm cold? Turn the heat up in your house. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Amen. Or That's buy right. you an electric blanket or do like the old folk used to do. Get a hot water bottle. That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You can't get no young woman today, young Amen. virgin, to lay with you to keep you warm. No way. But yet there's plenty out there. Oh, yes. That will volunteer their services. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I don't care if you get so cold until you get frostbitten. <laughs> Ain't no one can go hire no young virgins. And, and I'm telling you right now, it may sound funny, but do you know how many no good rotten pulpit things? That's right. Will use that scripture right there? That's right. That's right. They are using it in different religions they right are. now. Let her lie in thy bosom. That Taking the virginity of 9-year-old, 10-year-old, 11 years old, 12, 13, 14, 15. They're quoting Bible to do it. That's right. Let me go. 
And let her lie in thy bosom that my Lord may get heat. Let her lie in your bosom just to keep you warm. So they not to make you happy. No. <laughs> That's right. Not to, not to see are you still a man. That's right. I make it plain. Make it plain. So I don't say, Pastor Jennings, that is plain. Not to a many folk that are listening. No, it's not. That's true. Because many would want to take that and make it to whatever they want to be. That's right. Listen at this. And let it lie in thy bosom that my Lord may get heat. Yes. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coast. Wait a Israel. minute. Don't even go get an ugly one. <laughs> a fair damsel. Because we want her to be so that at least <clears throat> old man David at least don't mind looking at her. That's right. That's right. The whole objective is he want heat. Want heat. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You see, I love the detail of this. <laughs> Listen at this. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coast of Israel. Find a fair one. And found throughout Abishai. Throughout the coast of Israel, they found Abishai. A Shunammite and brought Shunamite her to the king. Shunammite and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair. Very fair. She looked good. And cherished the king and ministered to him. She done exactly what she was asked to do. But the king knew her not. King didn't have no sex with her. That's it. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Don't say Pastor Jennings, he was too old. Says who? Says who? You must don't know your Bible. I don't know the Bible. These men was having children, 700 and something. That's right. 600 and something. That's right. 800 and something. Yeah. 500 and something. Yeah. Amen. He just had a heat problem. That's it. Bible ain't said he had any other problem. No. His body just couldn't get no heat. That was it. That was it. He just came to lay with him to keep his body warm. That's right. But the Bible says he what? But the king knew her not. He didn't have no relationship with her. That's it. Hmm. Brother, that's a holy man. That's a holy man. You can lay right there. I don't Fair care how so. old you are. And she looked good. <laughs> and she's a virgin. And a virgin. And she's laying right in your bosom. A young virgin. A young virgin. <laughs> that's right. Most That's men that right. take a swine dive to hell. That's right. Huh? They go right to the edge of the bed the and do a it. jackknife That's right, right. into hell. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. <laughs> Come on, William. First Kings chapter 1, now we're at verse 5. You young women out here, keep your virginity until you marry. Until you marry. Keep it, I said. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's something that's not hardly taught no way on the planet. No. You young girls, it ain't no shame. And don't be ashamed because you're a virgin. That's right. Don't be ashamed. That's don't right. be embarrassed. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Oh, dear God, I wish I could thunder that to the world. Oh, yes. Don't be ashamed. Shame. It's no crime that's right. to be a virgin. That's right. You talk to a lot of women. There's a lot of women on the planet today. What they got, they still was a virgin. That's true. They regret letting that man touch them. Yeah. Right. A whole lot of women walking. They regret it. That's if true. they can turn back the clock, then nobody will touch them. Yeah. Right. Amen. That's right. Hear me good now. First Kings chapter 1, now we're at verse 5. So you young sisters that are watching mm -hmm. and that are listening, it's no sin. And being a virgin, you remain that way until you get married. That's it. Don't let no fella tell you if you love me, you will give it up. Yeah. Right. He's making a sucker out of you. That's right. Let me just make it plain. Love and sex are two different things. Amen. I want it to be good for you dumb viewers. <laughs> who think sex is love. Yeah. If sex is love, then whores are the most loving women out here. That's and right. so are pimps. That's right. Hear me good? Amen. You young men, young. it's no shame yeah. if you haven't had no sex yet and you're still a young virgin. It's not a shame. Not a shame. Sex don't make you a man. No. Yeah, hear what I'm telling you now. That's right. Sex don't make you a man? No. no. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? 
Amen. I want to change the mentality of these people out here today. Yeah. The Bible says, be not conformed to this world, this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's right. And the mind of these young people need to be renewed. God knows. Oh, yes. You young girls, it's too quick. Oh, yes. Too quick to give up your goods. That's right. That's Eight, right. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. No. Oh no. Well, he loved me. Yeah, man. Amen. Let me take you back to uh, the message that I gave you. I believe on uh, Frankfurt Avenue. Mm -hmm. Look at the word love. Spell it. L O V V E. -E. That word also can be an acronym, young girl. That's right. Amen. That's right. L O V E. Amen. Legs open very easy. Amen. Go ahead, Pastor. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Why you in the world you think these fellas are so quick to tell you? Quick. I love you. Love got different meanings to people. That's right. That young fella tell you quick, I love you. What he's really pleading for, legs open very easy. That's what he wants. That's right. And because you don't know what he's talking, you think he's talking about the emotions of his heart. No, he's talking about the lust that is in him. That's it. And because you're too immature and just dumb to what love is, yeah. you associate sex yes. with love. That's right. That's right. I remember years ago I was in a conference <laughs> with a fellow almost 50. And uh, I asked him, what is love? <laughs> and he gave me a look like a deer in headlights. <laughs> I mean, the question wasn't, you know, too deep, or too complex. He said, huh. huh. <laughs> he said, love is sex. My Lord, my Lord. He gave the answer that I knew he would give because that is the mentality of most people. Mm. Love is sex. So I asked him, can a woman love you and not have sex with you? You know what he said to me? How can that be? My Lord. He said, that's impossible. My Lord. He was serious. He mm. said he was almost 50. Mm. He said, that's impossible. How? How can a person love you and not have sex? My Lord. I said, so, if a prostitute had sex with you, she love you? He said, yeah. Mm. Mm. Do you remember in the 1970s as kids, there used to be a show called The Gong Show? That's true. He should have been on it. Should have been on it. <laughs> You young women, hear me, hear me good. Sex and love are two different things. That's right. Sex come under fornication, fornication. not married. Adultery, you are married. Mm -hmm. Abomination, sex out of pocket. <laughs> That's right. You just went clean out of left field with yours. Yeah. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Sex out of pocket. Out Remember of, that. Out of pocket. You just went totally out of left field. <laughs> Amen. You want to do the USS Enterprise. You want to boldly go oh, oh, oh. where no man have gone before. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Oh, I want to make it so you plain. It you plain. just you just can't leave here stupid. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you getting it? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because a man, a boy or a man, has sex with you. Mm -hmm. 
to me he love you. Two sorts of men multiply sin. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 23. You, you better give chapter and verse. Uh, the moment where in the red, all you heard was, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of folks don't know what I'm talking. It's in the Bible. That's right. And yet they say, he's vulgar. No, I'm a truth teller. That's right. And I'm trying to save your daughters and your sons' lives. That's right. That's right. Yeah, may good. Anyone don't like this preaching, something wrong with you. Something's wrong. You better give chapter and verse for the viewers and them that are here. I'm going to give it very clearly, Pastor. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 23 and verse 16. Go at verse 15. Start there. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 23 and verse 15. Yes. The man that is accustomed to oprip oprobrious words. Yes. Will never be reformed all the days of his life. You know, some folk, it's hard to change them. It's hard to reform them. That's right. But nobody can reform you like God can. Amen. All right. Two sorts of men multiply sin. Two sorts of men. Multiply sin. Increase sin. And the third will bring wrath. The third will bring wrath. A hot mind is... <clears throat> at Hold it! Amen. Amen. You didn't know this was in the Bible, did you? <laughs> Hallelujah. What kind of mind? A hot mind. A hot mind? Is as a burning fire. Hot. Sin don't start with physical behavior. That's right. Sin start with a contrary mindset. That's it. A hot mind. A lustful mind. A venturous mind. A mind that's too curious. Is as a burning fire. Is as what? As a burning fire. What of God says the very thought of foolishness is sin. Is sin. Are you listening? A hot mind is as a burning fire. A hot mind. Amen. Hot mind. Hot. Everybody in here had a hot mind sometime in their life. Sometimes. Everybody. That's right. You may be speaking in tongue now. <laughs> That's right. You may be jumping up and down behind your pews, tearing up your shoes, and running in your stockings. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Amen. You get a holy person now and there. Oh, Pastor Jennings, I never had a hot mind. Are you married? Yeah. What you get married for? Prayer? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You over-righteous thing. Over-righteous. Them children ain't come here because your mind was cool. No, no. Your mind was hot. Hot. That's when right. you're hot, you're hot. <laughs> when you're not, when you're, not. Not, you're not. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Amen. All right, Warner, we're going to have just a down-to-earth rock'em soccer message today. Amen. Come on, Williams. A hot mind, a hot mind is as a burning fire. It's as a burning fire. It will never be quenched. It will never be quenched. Till it be consumed. Amen. When your mindset consumes you, consumes. you become obsessed with it. That's right. It takes you over until it pulls you totally out of character. That's right. And you are transformed into what you never was. That's right. Listen. A, a hot mind is as a burning fire. Yes. It will never be quenched till it be consumed. What else? A fornicator in the body. What? A fornicator in the body of his flesh. The fornicator. Amen. In the body of his flesh. Will never cease. Will never stop. Till he hath kindled a fire. Amen. There's a lot of blowing. There's a whole lot of sound effects out here. <laughs> the Bible speaks plain. A fornicator in the body of his Somebody flesh. Somebody said, Pastor Jennings, that's why a person need to get married. Uh huh. That cures some people. Some people. That helps some people. That's right. Because if she ain't getting what she want and he ain't getting what he want, they may have problems. That's right. And he's out driving around at night looking. Looking. Like a beady-eyed fish out of food. <laughs> That's right. Looking. That's right. Or she's on the computer. Oh, yes. Looking at men. Looking at them. Who's she going to date tonight? That's right. Amen. That's right. Grandma, she on there. Grandma. Grandma. 
looking up whose granddaddy is available. That's right. They can go out a date and see who's going to use the cane first. That's right. Oh, you ain't too old to be a sinner. No. Bible says where there's life, there's hope. There's hope. Come on, Williams. A fornicator in the body of his flesh will never cease. Yeah. Till he hath kindled a fire. Then what? All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. <laughs> Amen. And you people out there criticize my frank talking. That's right. Listen at the Bible. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 23 and verse 17. <laughs> all bread. All bread. Is sweet. Is sweet to a whoremonger. That means this in plain terms. There are some men that will never say no to no kind of woman. That's right. No kind. No kind. Doesn't matter what she looked like, smelled like, walked like, talked like. Doesn't matter. That's right. Long as she's a woman, he's going after her. That's like right. an ox to the trough. Like an ox to the trough. Do you hear the Bible? All bread. How much? All bread. Cornbread, wheat bread. <laughs> That's right. Fried cornbread. Right. Jiffy cornbread. That's right. Handmade biscuits. That's right. Barley bread. All bread. <laughs> Wonder bread, bond bread, Amen. Sherman, stale bread. That's right. Bread with maggots all on it, molded bread. Yes. All bread. What? All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. All bread. He won't turn down no woman. He will not leave off. He will not leave off. Till he die. Amen. Amen. You know, I tell you, everything is in the scriptures. Everything is right there. It's right there. That's right. A whoremonger. A whoremonger. Yeah, go from woman to woman, woman to woman, woman to woman. How long? All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he dies. Yeah, do it right to the grave. That's right. It makes some old men feel good. That's true. When a girl 20, 25 is attracted to him. Oh, yes. Put a spring in his old step. Spring in his step. And he string you along with dollars and cents. That's right. Buy you gifts. Buy you gifts. Amen. Making, uh, making it easy for you to surrender yourself. That's right. To give up your loaves of bread. That's right. Go ahead, He's man. taking all the resistance out of you. Yeah. Buy you this, buy you that, buy the other, buy the other. Until he gets your frame of mind... And when you're away from him, you know what you say? How can I pay him back? That's all he want. That's right. And you go ask him, how? How can I pay you? Oh, he bought you a whole wardrobe. He bought you this. He bought you that. He paid your bills. He paid your rent. Yeah. When Rita's water ice opened up, he give, you, he, he give it to you <laughs> the moment it opened. That's right. Everything. Everything. And keep doing. He's patient. Oh, yes. Waiting for the bread. That's right. And then that loaf start talking to herself. That, that loaf. <laughs> that loaf. That's right. Because he wants to squeeze the Sherman. That's right. That's right. Eh? Amen. Hey, man, you got barley bread over there, wheat bread over there, white bread over there. Different complexions, you know. Different complexions. Yeah. Oh, yes. Got a pancake over there, you got a, something else over there, and he's just there, oh, just yes. waiting. He's patient. He's patient. That's right. Amen. All bread is sweet to a whore among us. That's trifling. Yes, it is. And I have met men like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've met men like this who, who told me to my face. I, ain't, I don't pass up nobody, Pastor Jennings. Mm. I, I, I mm. <laughs> told me to my Pastor Jennings, I don't pass up nobody. I don't care what they look like, act like, smell. I don't care. My if Lord. it's free, I'm taking it. My Lord. Mm. How long this mentality remain, he, William? He will not leave off till he die. Amen. Amen. He will not leave off. Made me think of a false prophet used to be under me mm -hmm. before I met over half of you. 
Years ago, the last woman he saw was a prostitute. Mm. That's right. He was down in Florida. Florida. Old fella had a young prostitute. His heart couldn't take it. That's right. <laughs> he right. died. He died. Amen. Rode him right to the grave. That's Drove right. Drove him there. He died. He died. Last thing he looked up at was a prostitute. Can you imagine his soul coming out of his body and seeing his body laying there mm. and with a prostitute laying there and then knowing the judgment of Almighty God? My Lord. His chance of making it back with God was totally doomed. That's right. I want you to hear this now. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. All bread. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off. Till he dies. Then what? A man that breaketh wedlock. A man that break wedlock. Saying thus in his heart. Saying thus. In his heart. In his heart. Who seeth me? Who see me? I am kept, I am compassed about oh, in darkness. I'm compassed about in darkness. The walls cover me. <laughs> in <laughs> his mind, nobody see him. And That's nobody seeth me. Then what? What need I to fear? What? What need I to fear? As an arrogant, self-righteous man and woman. That's what do I got to be scared of? That's right. What, what is it? The Most High will not remember my sins. You's a fool. That's a fool. That's a fool. You think God thinks so much of you, he don't remember your wrong? My Lord. When you repent, he don't hold that wrong against you. Right. He remember what you done. He remember it. That's right. He know all things. That's right. Amen. Amen. Mm. Woman, if you know you know good and that man is good, don't marry that man. Yeah. Don't go marry that man and ruin his life. Ruin it. Man, if you know you know good and you want, you know that woman is good, don't marry that woman. That's right. Why in the way you want to ruin that woman life? That's right. If you ain't ready to settle down, be single. Be single. Just stay single. You can be miserable by yourself. That's right. Some of these things flaunt their misery just as fine. Yeah. They're <laughs> just cool about it. Cool about it. You can see him or her just as waking up the devil. Well, how you doing, sis? Oh, I'm all right. I'm of the devil. <laughs> how you doing, brother? That's oh, right. I'm a whoremonger. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll see you in church next week. That's true. That's true. You young people keep your virginity. You young men, be wise. Don't let no one set you up just to get a baby out of you. That's right. And then throw you to the side like a recycled trash can. Amen. Amen. Sometime I'm business associates. But Pastor Dennis, how are you? How's your family? Fine. Any grandchildren yet? I tell them, my, my, my kids ain't married yet. Right. They're like, well, we know you ain't, they are, they ain't married, but is it any grandchildren? I said they ain't married yet. Yeah. In other words, you better not bring me none, and they ain't married. That's right. Don't bring me none, then lie and say you adopted. <laughs> That's right. Amen. If, if one of my children had a child or not married, it would be over social media everywhere. Oh, the yes, paparazzi would probably be in the delivery room. That's right. Preachers will fly Preachers in to record it. Yes, they would. <laughs> Members of false churches will get dressed as nurses to come in. That's right. That's <laughs> because they'll blame me. Yes, they would. So they will. Even though you grown, I ain't, I ain't walking behind you no 24 hours a day to see what you're doing, but the slightest thing you do, not just my children, you folk in church. That's right. The slightest thing you do, they blame Pastor Jennings. Yes, they and would. And they say, I allow it. Yes, they would. I can preach against it until I turn to a raccoon and back to a man <laughs> again. They say he allow it. That's right. Yes, they would. If, if William was walking down the street drunk mm -hmm. on his oh. way home, mm -hmm. all staggering, <laughs> they say Pastor Jennings gave him that liquor. Yes, they would. They say him and Pastor Jennings was drinking together. They drinking didn't together. see me. That's right. They just saw drunken William. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. They blame me for what you do. That's true. And they lie and say, I allow it. That's right. That's the hatred that people have about this message. That's the hatred. Listen at this. What need I to fear? 
Eh. The Most High will not remember my sins. Yes. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. You see, such a man like this, feareth they just worry about what people see. And knoweth not that the and eyes not of the Lord. considering that the eyes of God. Are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Ah. Hey, get, hallelujah. Glory to God. That gives me consolation. Oh, yes. God see everything. Everything. I don't worry about what people see or don't see. God see everything. Beholding all the ways of men. All the ways of men. And considering the most secret parts. Did you hear that? Amen. God know what man you driving off seeing. Yeah. In the parking lot talking and all that stuff. Oh, yes. People taking pictures of you and you don't know it. No. And you also got to be careful of this uh, artificial intelligence. Oh, yes. People will put your face on all kind of bodies on social media. Yes, they will. Put your face on the body and make it look like you're in a club, drinking, dancing, everything. Everything. People that hate you, brother, they'll do it to you. Yes, they would. Amen. Yes, they yeah, would. Take my head and put it on the body and have me somewhere dancing under a disco light. <laughs> <laughs> With a three-piece white suit, black shirt, collar on it, standing like John Travolta. <laughs> yes, they would. The hatred that people have hatred, now. Hatred, hatred. But there's some people that want to believe evil of you. Yeah. That's why some folk are so fast to believe something. Oh, yes. Let's go back to Ananijah. Let's skip this. Back in 1 Kings now. chapter 1 and at verse 5. Come on. Then Adonijah, the son of Haggith, exalted himself. You see that? Amen. Not God exalt him. No. Because when God exalts you, that's the best exaltation. That's the best. You exalt yourself, God have a way of bringing you down to absolutely nothing. That's right. Adonijah built then, himself up. Then Adonijah, the son of Haggith, exalted himself. Then what? Saying, I will be king. Ha. Amen. Stay in your place. Oh, yes. Whatever position that God blessed you to serve in, Serve in that. That's right. Don't let nobody put a title on you. You know that's not you. That's it right. wasn't given to you. Right. If someone is working in the church, why would you be jealous or mad? And you doing nothing but talking about it. Amen. You go do something. Find something to do. Find something to do. Are you listening? That's right. Well, I will do it, but. But what? Amen. But nothing. Either work for God or don't. Right. People today, many of them don't value the work of God. That's right. But they got a lot to say about it and won't lift a finger and do nothing. That's right. Come on. These are the end times, so now is the time to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. To be baptized correctly, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. That's 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com. Again, if you want to be baptized, call the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ toll-free at 1-888-231-2201. Or email us at baptism at truthofgod.com.